When we first got this brief, I knew that I wanted to shoot landscapes um, because it's something that I really enjoy doing. I really enjoy the drama of going out with your camera and you never quite know what you're going to see. Um, you can make a plan of the area that you want to go to, but with the weather, um, with what's going on with the people you interact with that area, um, you're never 100% sure of what you're going to come back with at the end of the day. My journey specifically that I was going to take um, took me back to my childhood where I spent lots and lots of time playing tennis. Um, I pretty much grew up on the tennis court. My parents would take me down there and I'd spend all day playing tennis. Um, it was not just the sport that I enjoyed but it was the interaction with all the people from different schools. Uh, I made some fantastic friends and for me it was about that interaction with people. The, the court was actually a place where I could meet and everyone was on the same level field. For my book um, I've taken inspiration mainly from Robert Frank and Simon Roberts. Um, it starts off with Robert Frank as I really enjoy when, when I get a little bit stuck with any of my projects I go down to the Tate and sit in front of his contact sheets that he took for the Americas and normally after sitting there for about 20-30 minutes or so I, I get some sort of inspiration or it just gives me time to reflect on what I've been doing. Secondly, um, I took inspiration from Simon Roberts he came in and did a talk for us um, a few weeks ago um, and it was great to be able to have the opportunity to talk to him. Um, he gave me tips for when I was shooting using my 5.4 camera. Um, but he also made things realistic for me um, where you, you see all these amazing books uh, produced by these photographers and you sort of think to yourself how am I going to produce these? Well, talking to him, he he put things in perspective for me, and after lots and lots of planning, um, these projects were all very realistic, and so that was very inspiring for when I was working. For my project, I used a large format 5.4 film camera. Um, I chose this because when shooting landscapes, I wanted the whole image to be sharp and to try and slow my shooting down as well so I was going to be very precise with what I was shooting. Um, I used Kodak 100 um, film. I wanted to use this film because previously I'd moved from using black and white to colour and I felt that the images that I was going to shoot would really benefit from having that saturated colour that the film would give me. One of my favourite images in the book um, has to be the one at Cromer Lawn Tennis Club. Um, I grew up there playing tennis as a child and the court that I've taken a picture of is court one. It's only open for about four months of the year and it's always a pleasure to play on and personally I've got some fond memories of, of competing on that court. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a special one for me. I feel that this book um, and the journey that I've taken to produce it has been extremely rewarding. Um, I've enjoyed a lot of the time spent on it when I'm out either driving to a location to photograph a tennis court or I get to go down and collect my negatives after they've been developed um, and the actual design of the book. I um, hope you, you enjoy looking through the pictures. Um, this is a, a small clip of the tennis court actually being made um, from the irrigating of the tennis court to cutting the grass to putting the lines up. I wanted to try and show the, the love and the care that goes around these courts.